with Donna Westerman in her gallery. She has a show called Second Nature. And she was just talking to me about how she grinds her own pigments for this egg tempera um, painting that she has behind her. So I just asked her if she would take a moment and tell me about her processes that are very traditional about grinding her own pigments and actually the egg tempera too. We'll probably do this in a couple of different uh, stages because I'll want to send this to myself. And so <laughs> we'll stop and start from time to time. Okay, well what I do on this, this is a board, and so I prepare the board with traditional water-based gesso, which I um, can mix myself, I cook it, and then I apply it and in about six different layers. Each one is sanded very, very smooth, and then another layer is put on in a different direction, sanded, and so on, until finally I have a really nice thick absorbent layer of water-based gesso. And it's this, it's like a glass surface. It has to be like that. And traditionally, uh, people who used egg tempera would then take a black, like a, a black ink, and they would do a, a monochromatic black and gray drawing underneath, and then apply the color. I don't do that. I just jump right in with the color. It takes about 60 layers of color to build up a really rich tone. The colors are very, very thinly put on, like glazes, and um, each, the end of each brush stroke, you can't have a puddle. So you, usually you take the brush, dip it into the mixture of the pigment with a egg yolk, and drag the brush across the top of your hand so that you don't have a puddle at the end of each stroke. And then you have all these colors crisscrossed on your hand. Um, and I grind the pigments, uh, they're, they grind differently, so the, the um, uh, earth pigments grind very easily, and some of the other man-made pigments do not. You have to grind and grind and grind, and I use a flat glass muller on a, uh, a glass plate that's been roughened up somehow. Um, and then I put them in little containers, little plastic containers that are airtight, and I grind them to the consistency of a gouache. And I keep them in those containers, and they're ready to paint. I take a fresh egg yolk, break the, break the egg, uh, take the yolk, get all the white out, and just make the yolk go back and forth in my hand until I get all the white off, then pinch it and use that fresh egg yolk, which will keep for about three days in the refrigerator. Uh, so I use about equal amounts of water. I take the pigment out, I use then distilled water and the egg yolk, and probably about equal mixture of egg yolk and water mixed in with the pigment, small amounts, and, and, and start painting. And the brush strokes are, are very thin, like crosshatch brush strokes, one right after the other. So it goes rather quickly. Um, you have to kind of understand what happens with the layering of color, you know, to, to, so sometimes it's a surprise and sometimes you don't really know where you're going and so you have to kind of go with the flow and sometimes you do know, you have to be able to get back to color immediately, so it's not a technique for a beginner. I think it's something that you need to understand color before you can really do well with this. People who start out as I've taught this usually put the paint on too thickly, too opaquely. So it, it has to be thin. And that's what gives this technique a very special quality. There's a, a depth to the color that you don't get in any other medium because of all the layers of glazes on all of them. So with the, this particular piece is based on bark and uh, looking very carefully at bark and maybe exaggerating a little bit the, the color relationships. Um, you can do light over dark. You can go dark over light. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. Sometimes if you, if you get to a color that you're not really happy with, you can paint a lighter color on top of that and then go back in and adjust the color as you put the glazes on top of that. It's not easy to scrape this off and then start. It doesn't work that way. You just sort of have to keep building and building and building. So um, let's see, what else would you need to know about this? You have a question? Let me just uh, go in close to this yeah. so that I can, I, we've got a lot of reflection here, so yeah. I don't know that I'll be able yeah. to see very much. I'll try to go yeah. lower here so it's pretty hard to see uh, 
with, with this video. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you, Donna. Yay.